Hi, this is Tammy with Spoken Wines. Join us as we travel to Stellenbosch, South Africa, where we found a hidden gem, Alderine Vineyards and Wines. This family-owned winery creates beautiful Pinotage wines, but one caught my attention, the Women of the World Rosé, a bottle that celebrates women. We'll share at the end how to experience these beautiful wines for yourself. Uh, my name is uh, gert -Jan, and uh, I'm uh, married to Jacqueline Aldering from Aldering Vineyards and Wines. And Aldering Vineyards and Wines is a boutique, family-owned and family-managed vineyard in the Devon Valley of Stellenbosch. So my parents-in-law uh, started this uh, particular vineyard by uh, buying the property in uh, 2004. They've been traveling the world, as a matter of fact, to, uh, uh, to find the right spot. It started as a passion, as a dream. They really wanted to have their own vineyard. They uh, first traveled to South Africa and already quick they figured out that there was good property for sale here. Nice vineyards with good soils. It took them a few years to find the right spot, but 2004 they found this. You know what, let's try to make our own wines here. And barrels were bought and the first vintage was bottled in 2009. So it hit the market also in 2009 and 2010. Mainly in the European countries, mainly in the Netherlands as a matter of fact. It was only 45,000 bottles, 15,000 Shiraz, 15,000 Pinotage and 15,000 Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot. And the reaction was fantastic. <laughs> We're a South African company, of course, but with a touch of Dutch, we like to say. Uh, Lady M is, uh, is named after my mother-in-law, Lady Marianne, was more or less discovered on a, on a gala dinner, which they organized in the cellar here next door. And also Mr. Kees van Kasteren was here. He's a master of wine in the Netherlands. At the end of the gala dinner, everybody was asked to take their glass a moment to one of the tanks and taste some of the pinotage, it's 100% pinotage pure, fruit-driven, a fruit explosion almost, if you want to call it like that. Maybe we should bottle this as is. And Kees van Kasteren said, Marianne, that's a great idea. My father-in-law had to come up with the right name for the wine. We had Pinotage already. So he thought, you know what, we're going to do something with a, a nice letter. Call it Lady M, named after Lady Marianne. <laughs> When we visited Alder Lane, we were invited to taste several of their wines. We really enjoyed the South African Pinotage wines, like the Lady M. We found it very intriguing. And then Hayan pulled out the Women of the World Rosé. Simply put, it was delicious and beautiful. It has a gorgeous hue and this magnum size eggs to be shared with family and friends. It's a collectible bottle, which means it reflects the many colors and diversities of women around the world. And I love the story behind the wine almost as much as I like the wine itself. Alderling will have a different artist design label each year to empower and celebrate women of the world. Each will be colorful and unique, like this fruit-forward wine. The first label was designed by a well-known Dutch artist. It's colorful, expressive, and an elegant portrayal of the Dutch women he represents. Dutch women, like the founder, Mariana, and her daughter, Jacqueline, they have been instrumental in making the dream at Alderling come true and helping to set a strong foundation for its future. This year's label highlights African women, like the hard-working women in the vineyards in production at Alderling. They're tenacious, and they play a significant role in the communities that they live in. These collectible bottles will last long after the wine is gone, reminding us all of women of the world. Hey, I'm Jan. And I'm Tammy. And we are Spoken Wines. Tell us a little bit more 
about this exciting and unique women of the world, Pinotage Rosé. Oh, the women of the world rosé. It's a wonderful wine. It's clean, it's crisp, it's medium body. It's got an inviting red fruit flavor, and it has excellent acidity. It's made from the Pinotage grape, which you can only find in South Africa. I really enjoyed it paired with a Cristini with ricotta, ham, and rocket on top. Mm. You know, it's also really good with a creamy uh, pasta as well. Wow, that sounds wonderful. The owner talked about the Lady M Pinotage and how it came to life. It is an unwooded red wine straight from the stainless steel tank, which makes it super unique. It has these dark fruit flavors, an earthy aroma, and smooth, elegant tannins. And as Gendian said, it delivers this lingering flavor explosion. It actually pairs really well with any kind of light seasoned meat either grilled or pan fried. You know, Tammy, we have not talked much about these beautiful white wines that Aldering makes. And the one that we recommend is their late harvest, semi-sweet white wine made from Sauvignon Blanc. It is loaded with minerality and it has this earthy undernote so characteristic for high quality late harvest wines. We invite you to experience these wines at your home and share them with family and friends. We're just so thrilled to find this pristine boutique family-owned yeah, winery. Yeah. It's located in the Stellenbosch region of South Africa with a touch of Dutch, just like you. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And we would love to hear from you how these wines speak to you and share your story. Please subscribe to our channel so you can join us on our next journey finding captivating wines from regions around the world. We're Spoken Wines. Cheers. Cheers.